Hey everybody, this is Franco. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. And this video is going to be about the Sureline Industrial CNC Chucker. And I want to talk about it for a few minutes, tell you a little bit about the machine, then I'll give you a quick demo. So I want to move quickly because, right, I want to keep these videos short. So what is this thing? It's a heavy duty uh, version of the Sureline uh, benchtop lathes. So if you know anything about the Sureline products, they're made in California. They've been in business forever. They are super popular with like model makers and hobbyists, tech schools, places like that. Um, so, you know, you've probably seen one at some point in your life. This one is uh, something kind of unique. I, I think it's something new they just started getting into. It's, you know, bigger and badder than their normal uh, benchtop lathe. It does not have a tail stock. You can see there's no tail stock. Everything on this is meant to be, you know, chucker mode. And, you know, we'll talk about that in a second. So what do you have here? Well, we'll start left to right. What you have on this thing is a uh, integrated, right? It's a 3C spindle. So right from the factory, you can pop a 3C collet right in this headstock, which is really cool. Uh, 3C collet lets you hold up to a half inch diameter stock, which is good for a machine of this size. The fact that you can slide that collet right in the headstock makes it very stable and you can really, you know, shorten up on your work, chalk up on it really close. Uh, that's really nice. And something that's really cool that I've only ever seen on bigger machines, I've never seen it on a small machine, you have the option of ordering this uh, quick collet closer system, right? So you can um, pop your work in there, slide it around and chunk you're locked, you're ready to go. That's it, that's all it takes to load and unload your, your stock. So, you know, keep in mind, this is meant for a semi, well, this is an industrial type of bench top lathe that's meant for mass production. So if you're standing, you need to make parts all day, you can't be turning knobs, you just, you need to open, slide, close, make your next part. Open, slide, close, make your next part. And that's the idea. Uh, so this is really cool. I, I kind of, when I saw this feature, I, I really fell in love with it. It's an upgrade. You have to pay more money to get it, but it's, in my opinion, well worth it. If you don't buy it, it's okay. You'll uh, just turn up, you'll turn your draw bar manually, but when I saw this, I had to have it. So what else do we have over here? We have a 90 volt DC motor. We have a uh, pretty standard motor controller. Um, all this is made in America, I believe. This is all uh, domestic stuff. I took this cover apart and looked inside, and uh, this is a motor controller from uh, KB Electronics. So very high quality stuff. There's no, nothing cheap on here. It's, it's well made. And uh, very basic. You have off and on, and you have one knob to turn on the spindle to adjust the uh, speed. And it's very quiet. I, um, I have this thing, it's probably going about 1500 RPM right now. I can hardly, I mean, there's very, very little, if any, vibration, which is pretty good when you see how far I have that stock sticking out. I'm probably getting some vibration from that, but not from the spindle itself. It's very, very smooth running, very accurate. The um, motor controller is only one direction. It only goes forward which I thought was weird at first, but I, I got on the ShareLine website and they actually have directions. You can um, add a toggle switch. It looks like it's pretty simple to do. You just drill a quarter inch hole and solder up a few little wires, but you can add a, add a toggle switch to get, add the forward reverse functionality to this controller. They say that they, you know, they only give you forward from the factory because it makes the uh, brushes wear longer in the motor. Um, you know, I'm not sure. They, it looks like they've tried to keep it simple, but I would like to have reverse, and I'm going to install that switch. And, um, you know, maybe that would be the only suggestion I would make to the people at Sureline. You know, it would probably be nice when you're buying a machine like this to get the forward and reverse right from the factory. But I'm not going to complain because they were nice enough to put some really good directions together for the end user to make that modification. So I'll be doing that. What else can we say? has a uh, max RPM on this is like 2,800 RPM, maybe 3,000 RPM. It has two speed pulley system. So I have it in the low speed um, pulley right now. If I jumped it over here, this would be high speed. It also comes, you can order it from the factory with an option for an encoder. So what this is, is I believe a 30 tooth um, pulley, XL style pulley. And what I'm going to do is mount an encoder right here and um, 
you know, the people at Sureline were very nice. They gave me all the part numbers, everything I needed to order. As it would turn out, it's the same encoders that I've been using with the uh, Acorn products here for a long time. So that's convenient. Uh, so that's great. So there'll be an encoder on this thing very soon. What else? You have this nice big gang plate on here. So you can, you can order different configurations of these tool holding blocks. Uh, I ordered mine with 3 three eighths inch diameter holes. You can also get it with 5 eighths diameter holes. But I have a, a front block. I have the uh, you know, center block here with the 3 eighths holes. I have a back working block with, designed to hold a 1 millimeter parting blade that you can buy from Sherline, which actually works really well. Uh, but the idea here is it's, it's meant to be very rigid, uh, very repeatable, and very modular. So depending on what you need, you can, you can come up with all different kinds of configurations here for the, um, for the tooling on this thing. Uh, let's see here. So I ordered mine. Oh, it has this nice little oiler cup here for the Z-axis slide. Uh, which, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, you have dovetail slideways on X and Z axis. So the way this thing's built, it's more like a little milling machine. Uh, like, you know, this part of it, if you just squint at your eyes, you might think this was a milling machine table. But dovetails on X and Z, so very accurate, very smooth, very precise. Have this little cup for oiling the Z axis. X axis, you just smear some oil on the dovetails every now and then. That seems to be adequate. Um, very tight, very accurate machine. I don't get much backlash at all on this thing. In fact, I have like zero backlash in Z-axis. I have less than one thou backlash in X-axis. I'm really impressed with how tight and accurate it is. The package I ordered is called the CNC Ready Chucker. So it came from the factory. All the slides, the ball screws, the ball nuts, everything was in place. It just didn't have motors on it. You can order motors and controllers from Shareline. I wanted to use the Centroid system, and I wanted to use these closed-loop steppers from uh, Automation Technologies Incorporated, and I'm really happy with those. They work really well. So long story short, uh, really like this thing. Uh, made in California, all high-quality stuff. Very, very, very uh, precise. I am, I am super impressed with how well this thing's put together and how nice it is. Uh, really cool. A few extra things I ordered with it. I got this this chuck, which uh, here again, when you, when you look at this chuck, it's really well made. Uh, very, very nice quality uh, chuck. Um, I really am impressed with that. And what you do is you just use this adapter. So you put this, you put this adapter in the headstock and your, your chuck just uh, threads onto the adapter. So, so if, you need, if you need to turn something that's bigger than um, you know, half inch, well, you can you have two choices. You can pop this, uh, pop one of these Sherline chucks in there and hold it. Or, you know, I suppose you could get yourself an emergency collet and, you know, bore out the first, uh, you know, a few millimeters out of the collet and make yourself a bigger grip. I don't know. But long story short, for a standard 3C collet, your max diameter is half inch. Anything bigger than that, you're going to have to, you know, use the chuck or, or come up with something else. But for my intents and purposes, this is, this is more than adequate. All right, well, let's, um, let's fire this thing up and uh, let's, let's, let's cut something with it. So, all right, I'm gonna slide this back and I'm gonna come over here. So I'm running a program. Let's see, this is what it looks like. Very simple little program. I'm just gonna do some turning, drill some holes, do some parting. And uh, yeah, let's fire this thing up. So, Got the centroid pendant. Let's fire a cycle start and see what happens. Okay. Hang on one second. Okay, we're locked. Okay, here we go.
So there you go. Let me uh, pause this and pick that part up. All right, so there we have it. Nice little part. Good, uh, good finishes on it. I guess if I were uh, a little more diligent with the oil while I'm cutting, I'd probably get an even better finish, but I'm really happy with this. I, I like what I'm seeing. So I've, I've made a bunch of these little test parts and it holds size. It really, it repeats very well. Uh, I'm really happy with it. So there you go. Sureline Industrial Benchtop CNC Chucker. I'll throw some hyperlinks in the description if you want to go to their website and check this thing out. And uh, all right, well, thanks for watching and be safe. Have a great day.